Hello and welcome to my series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. In this video, I offer you a psalm to focus on and to enjoy, to bring peace and meditation into your own Christian walk. I offer the video not to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation, to help find your own calm and peace in God's word. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and with strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your Son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to take Psalm 33, but I'm going to look at it through a translation done for the Scottish Psalter of 1650. This Scottish Psalter had gone through extensive revisions and was done by many scholars, some of the most gifted and skilled Hebrew scholars in all of England and Scotland. And the result is a Psalter that has been known for centuries for its faithfulness to the Hebrew text of the Psalm and the beauty of the word done in verse. So instead of examining this Psalm here, I'm going to read this Scottish verse from 1650. So please listen as I read and enjoy. Ye righteous in the Lord rejoice, it comely is and right that upright men with thankful voice should praise the Lord of might. Praise God with harp and unto him sing with the psaltery. Upon a ten stringed instrument make ye sweet melody. A new song to him sing and play with loud noise skillfully. For right is God's word, all his works are done in verity. To judgment and to righteousness, a love he beareth still. The loving kindness of the Lord the earth throughout doth fill. The heavens, by the word of God, did their beginning take. And by the breathing of his mouth, he all their hosts did make. The waters of the seas he brings together as an heap. And in storehouses, as it were, he layeth up the deep. Let earth and all that live therein with reverence fear the Lord. Let all the world's inhabitants dread him with one accord. For he did speak the word, and done it was without delay. Established it firmly stood, whatever he did say. God doth the counsel bring to naught which heathen folk do take, and what the people do devise of none effect doth make. Oh, but the counsel of the Lord doth stand for ever sure, and of his heart the purposes from age to age endure. That nation blessed is whose God Jehovah is, and those a blessed people are whom for his heritage he chose. The Lord from heaven sees and beholds all sons of men full well. He views all from his dwelling place that in the earth do dwell. He forms their hearts alike and all their doings he observes. Great hosts save not a king, much strength no mighty man preserves. And horse for preservation is a deceitful thing, and by the greatness of his strength can no deliverance spring. Behold on those that do him fear, the Lord doth set his eye, even those who on his mercy do with confidence rely. From death to free their souls in dearth life unto them to yield. Our soul doth wait upon the Lord. He is our help and shield. That in his holy name we trust, our heart shall joyful be. 
Lord, let thy mercy be on us as we do hope on thee. If you enjoyed this, please consider hitting the thumbs up button at the bottom. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page. And you will see live streams of our Sunday morning Bible studies, as well as our Sunday morning worship services. And we also offer a Sunday evening service from our minister, Mark, which is streamed at 6 p.m. So until next time, keep Psalms and carry on.